Hello and welcome back to Hopey Mails. Today I'm going to be doing the behind the booktube tag. So I found the tag on Books and Lala's channel and the original creator is by the book Wanderer. So I'll put both the links down in the description box. So let's get straight into it. What type of camera do you use? So I'm using the Canon EOS Rebel SL2. I'm just reading it on my camera because I'm busy filming with it. So I use the Canon S EOS Rebel SL2. I got it in America when I was film. I mean, when I was filming there. Listen to me, I've got filming on the brain. When I was appearing there, I got this whole package of Amazon and it was really great. I love it. I still don't know much about my camera. I just push the record button and figure it out. I should probably read the manual sometime soon, but I will put a little clip in and a picture somewhere while I'm talking all about this. Do you use any additional equipment? So I use a tripod. I'm not sure where the tripod comes from. Um, when I was in America, I would actually like use my desk, well not my desk, my bedside table, and like pile boxes and boxes and boxes on top of it and just stack my camera on top. But when I got home back to South Africa, my dad already had two um, tripods that were donated to him by my uncle. I think both of them, one of them were at least given to my dad by my uncle. And then the other one, I'm not sure either, but I'm using one of those tripods and I absolutely love it. It's been a real lifesaver. I don't have any special lighting. I try my best to use natural lighting, but the room I film in only has one window, which is on this side, which is why the beautiful lighting is on this side of the wall, and this is dark side of the wall. When I do film, it, I do have the main lights on, but the main lights aren't very strong, so I didn't, don't think it really does much of a difference. And then also, right now, it's currently raining outside when I'm filming this, so I've had to go and put my phone on my camera and using the flash. I'll take the flash off quickly just to show you the difference. So this is my current situation while it's raining because it's window, door, light, no light. Scripted or spontaneous? How do you plan what you're gonna say in your videos? So if I'm doing a tag, normally I just read the questions and answer them while I'm filming. Unless it's kind of like, well, actually most of the time it's just unscripted and I just go for it. It takes a couple of takes because, because I don't know what I'm going to say, but I just, I just go for it. I feel like it's more natural that way. Like, um, I don't want to have to think 500 times, oh my word, this is not, this doesn't sound right. It just needs to speak from the heart is what people say. I don't know. But yeah, no script, very unscripted. I do some tags, I like to read the questions and go through it because then I'm, I know what I'm gonna say instead of having to keep stopping my film or charge my battery or my battery might die while I look for the books, specifically if it's a book related um, tag. But one of the recent tags I did was the TMI tag and the do you know your book, how, do, do you have that book tag? So there's a few of those where I just do it and I wing it like this one I'm now. I haven't pre-read these questions. I'm reading them as I go on my laptop behind me. Ha ha, cheat cheat. How many takes do you do when filming? So I do a few takes, but it's kind of like one big string. Well, the video itself, the, the amount that I edit is very long and it's all just one. So I have to clip out all the random parts and get everything going. If I do a blooper, like if I can't pronounce a word, like um, I was filming a different video today as well, and I cannot say adaptation. Like for the life of me, I cannot say abdat abdaptation. But anyway, it takes me a while to say it. So sometimes I'll stumble on it 500 times before I can say it, or I stumble on it 500 times before I decide to change my wording. So it just all depends on how many t how many takes it takes me before I get the right answer. <laughs> if you use music in your videos, where do you find it? So I either most of the time I use the free music that is available on the YouTube Creator Creator Create Creator Studio. There we go. I got it. Creator Studio. 
I use most of my music from there. They update it pretty often and they're always adding new music. Or very rarely, but I do use it, is bensound.com. They've got royalty free music, which is great. How do you make your thumbnails? I use a website called Canvas. I have the free version. So it's literally you just type uh, register or log in and it's a pretty cool website I will I can put the link down in the description box if anyone is interested then lots of their features are free but then there are certain pictures and thumbnails and um, templates that are cost extra and then you can either pay for it or you can actually buy a subscription for canvas I haven't really looked too much into it but um, I use canvas I love it it is a little bit slow sometimes but I think that might be my lap what do you use to edit your video? So I use two programs. I use Movie Maker because I find Movie Maker is the easiest to edit the crop and edit and all the pieces of the film or the footage I have that I don't want in my video. So an awkward moment or a blooper or whatever. I find Movie Maker is a lot easier to use for that specific thing. Once I'm done with Movie Maker, I then save the video as a video not as a video file instead of as a movie maker file and then I up, I upload that into a program called VSDC and that one is uh, for all the fancy stuff well my fancy stuff I'm not very fancy at editing but then I can overlay music I can put pictures I can put text that sort of thing because the basic Windows movie doesn't have that so I had to invest in a second one and then the cropping and trimming and editing and deleting certain film from the footage um, on VSDC I didn't like or I couldn't get the hang of so I now use two but it's okay I prefer it this way any tips tricks or hacks when it comes to filming and editing I honestly couldn't say I've just gone by what I think I what I'm comfortable with um, I film with the best lighting I can or with audio if there's a video that I don't like I won't pub publish it or pu upload it um, editing has been a long struggle for me because I spent hours and hours and hours on YouTube learning these programs and how to edit with them and I still don't know them all so it's kind of just do your research look it up I I just wing it in your opinion what makes a good video from a produ from a production standpoint again struggles for me a good video is good audio good lighting and good content I, if the content is boring I'm not gonna watch it and then also um, if I can't hear the person clearly or I've blasted my phone or my computer to the full max volume and I still can't hear them then I'm not going to watch it either because I won't be able to know what they're saying. But that is what I focus on is lighting, audio and content. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit of behind the scenes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to get notified whenever I post new videos. Thank you for watching. Happy reading, happy watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.